Hi guys, short video on the markets. Uh, so, so, so many are calling uh, for a bottom uh, in uh, in cryptocurrency, um, uh, and, and uh, it's quite surprising. Uh, Alts have taken a much ha harder hit in this recent um, uh, down uh, or correction uh, than Bitcoin. Bitcoin still at six thousand, but uh, many Alts, especially Ethereum, took a big hit. Uh, but, uh, but. Uh, and due to that Bitcoin dominance has gone up to now almost 60% 58% so that's I would say on the high end already uh, Bitcoin dominance um, but what's the next step well the next step is that now Bitcoin goes down while alts don't do much uh, um, um, I have the impression that uh, during a bull cycle you have these moves where Bitcoin first goes up and then after that it goes sideways and then alts go up a lot uh, but the same is, seems to be the case in the bear market where uh, Bitcoin goes down and then um, alts just don't do much they just stay of course uh, connected to Bitcoin uh, price uh, but uh, they don't go down versus Bitcoin um, but then the next phase is that alts go down versus Bitcoin while Bitcoin stays uh, flat uh, or do doesn't break new lows uh, which we just saw a uh, Bitcoin still at 6,000 but many alts have seen new lows now like Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple um, uh, so so uh, but many are starting to call bottoms but uh, but I don't think that's justified um, um, because of uh, what we see on the Trollo chart is that we uh, uh, in, in a bear market always go to serious undervaluation uh, right now we're at fair valuation uh, so market uh, price of all cryptos together is about 200 billion and the trend line of Trollolo is around 210 billion uh, so so uh, uh, if you don't have any crypto uh, of course at these prices it's wise to ha build up a small exposure uh, because you are able to buy already at fair valuation and that's great if you can buy something at fair valuation that has uh, enormous potential but we've seen in past bear markets that we always go to serious undervaluation so it is very likely we will see that again compared to the trend line which continues to go up of course uh, trend line is now 210 billion and will likely be in one year time around 300 400 billion um, so uh, but but the undervaluation uh, uh, is much more than uh, than 10 percent uh, it's much more than 50 percent uh, in past bear markets it was like 70 percent undervaluation compared to the trend line uh, and even uh, that was the first bear market of 2011 the second bear market of 2014 we had an undervaluation of minus uh, 75 almost 80 percent um, compared to the trend line and so since this trend is up uh, I suspect uh, it is just most likely that we will see under evaluation of 90% compared to this trend line uh, uh, when this um, bear market is um, over. <clears throat> And when does that typically happen, uh, the biggest undervaluation? It's not when you see the bottom of Bitcoin, no. It's when you see the bottom of altcoins, which comes much later. Um, yeah, so, for example, in 2014, uh, you see a bottom of Bitcoin after one year at $160, coming from $1,150. But, uh, but undervaluation was not yet uh, at its maximum. It was only one year later. Um, when uh, when Bitcoin was already up from the, the the bottom of 160 to about let's say 300 dollars, double that, uh, that actually saw bigger undervaluation, um, and the bottom uh, was reached only then of the whole crypto market because most alts, even though Bitcoin doubled in that year 2015, most alts actually went down versus Bitcoin and, and, and even went down versus fiat. Hmm? Uh, so the, the overall, even though Bitcoin had found a bottom and had doubled uh, in 2015, um, the overall market, um, I have to check the numbers, but uh, did not double from the bottom. Um, uh, and uh, uh, maybe it went already up 50% or so, okay. But the trend line was going up faster than the market prices. Hence why the undervaluation became biggest after that year of 2015. Um, and the opportunity also the biggest eh? um, because time 
uh, is of importance. Like, um, um, uh, yeah. So, 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 it's extremely likely, or, or very likely, we will see this again. Uh, uh, a 90% undervaluation of the trend line, and if we are in one year's time at four, uh, let's say 400 billion, and two years time maybe at 500 billion or 600 billion, well, how much is that 90% of the 600 billion in two years? That's uh, that's 60 billion, eh? Uh, let's say uh, let's take 100 billion, but uh, in two years a market cap of 100 billion that will be a steal. Huh? But today, um, even if today we would reach 100 billion, then we're still only 50 percent, 50 percent undervaluation compared to the trend line. That's not as much a steal today. Uh, if we would get uh, 100 billion, we're still at 200 billion. If we get 100 billion, then today, then I would, uh, I would buy, uh, uh, of course, because my price targets are reached. Uh, my price targets, uh, targets are around 100 billion for the bottom. So I don't care if that's reached now or in two years. I will buy at those prices. For Bitcoin, that's around 3,000. For for Bitcoin Cash, it's around 200. For Ethereum, it's around 70 dollars. Uh, like if these pressure reached, I will buy and uh, and probably if if that would be soon, I will sit on them and have, make no profits so for for two years probably, seeing it go up and down again, or or, or maybe up only a little, uh, but 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 that that's that's not so likely uh, that we see that happening today. Much more likely is that we see another many 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 um, bounces eh, before we reach the bottom. And so and so and so, um, Ethereum has gone down the most. We'll see the strongest bounce likely, uh, but uh, but it will very likely be only a bounce. Um, but yeah, we have so much time to still spend uh, over one year. Uh, only then the bottom is expected. So so yeah, it will just bounce more. But I, I, I think it's very likely that the bear market will take a lot longer and. And teach a lesson uh, to those that um, have acted as perma bulls and have not studied uh, past cycles. Um, and I think overall market sentiment has changed from um, a majority bulls to um, a 50 50. Huh? Like we're like 50 bulls, 50% bears, something like that. I would estimate just by reading stuff uh, but, um, and sensing the market. Uh, but uh, but that's also not an indicator uh, for a bottom. Uh, you you really need a majority thinking bearish before I, it is likely you've seen the bottom. Um, yeah, I, 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 something else is that um, I really like Ethereum. Um, um, I, I think I think uh, I'm considering uh, again to buy Ethereum uh, on the bottom. Um, or around those prices, around hundred dollars, because, um, well, if I, my personal opinion is like, yeah, only a few projects will succeed to become very big in, in ten years' time. Uh, and which projects are that? I don't think it's Bitcoin anymore, um, but I do think it's Bitcoin Cash, uh, and I also think Ethereum stands a good chance. Uh, if you just look at the amount of transactions, it's just crazy. Ethereum has just totally killed it. The outperformer uh, of all. Uh, and also the activity on that uh, blockchain, the amount of developers surrounding it, projects built, being built on top of it, it's just crazy. Eh? So they just absolutely killed it and are the leader by far of, of, of uh, I wouldn't say of crypto money, but of a uh, crypto financial system. Uh, and that was the second thing that was missing after Bitcoin. Okay, that's that's that's, that's crypto money. Uh, that is, that's the biggest market. But the second market after that is a crypto financial system, a crypto stock market. Uh, I thought that NXT would succeed in that, but that uh, didn't pan out. But uh, Ethereum did it. Uh, that's the new financial system um, uh, in the crypto world. If you want to start... Uh, a project uh, it's the best choice is to start on top of Ethereum you're gonna have most uh, support uh, found most uh, investors uh, are willing to invest in your project raise the most money 
and um, and, 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 and but uh, I technically I haven't uh, I'm, I I don't know but uh, there must be some good technical reason also uh, to choose uh, Ethereum um, and um, yeah so so I think um, this is an interesting buy and and a great opportunity because. Uh, this is also a new project. It has only it never achieved the bear market. It was started in 2014, 2015 in the new. Uh, actually, it was started in 2015 uh, trading, and so it it, it only it experienced the bull market. It had massive gains. It was an amazing investment, similar to uh, investing in Bitcoin in 2010 um, at uh, 10 cents. Um, uh, this uh, could be done with Ethereum too, um, but, uh, but 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 uh, and the gains have been massive, uh, and, and so uh, an extreme strong correction is very likely, um, uh, and this is what we're starting to see. Uh, but but yeah, 95% cut uh, of all-time high prices is uh, where I set my target because. Um, yeah, I think 97% will be reached, but yeah, you want to be a little bit conservative, so I take 95. Um, and um, and why? Because that's what's happened in previous bear markets also uh, with uh, the top coins. Uh, at the time, that was not uh, Ethereum, but it was Litecoin and Ripple. They also corrected 95% um, in the last bear market. But but there is one, of course, anomaly here. Uh, the market, crypto market, has gone up a lot less in this bull market than in previous bull markets uh, of 2013. Um, and uh, and so it should also correct a lot less and, uh, and 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 I'm not taking that into account um, and if I would then uh, well this would be the bottom um, uh, but um, these prices uh, uh, normally it should only correct so much as uh, what we've seen um, but um, uh, it's just taking into account um, reduced volatility on the upside that we've seen so it should also be on the downside but um, uh, why I'm not doing this is, is because uh, I think that um, globally uh, we also see a special situation in the markets that uh, we have a, a bear market in the stock market also. Uh, I mean, at least a, a negative year is likely, not a, a long-term uh, bear cycle, no, but a short-term, yeah, uh, just a bad year after uh, having gone up since 2009. Stock markets, uh, that's now nine years. Um, nine full years eh? we're busy with the tenth year now um, uh, that that's that's very rare uh, there's only one uh, period uh, before after the Great Depression where you saw a longer a longer uh, bull cycle uh, in the stock market so 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 it becomes likely that we get a negative year here um, but of course typically it could also take another two three years or four years before we see that negative year so of course uh, it's just a game of odds here, but it becomes just more than 50% chance that we see a negative year here. Uh, I would say maybe 70% chance or so. Uh, but, but be careful, it's not happening yet. Eh? Uh, um, uh, the S&P 500, the Russell 3000 index, the, the US uh, indexes are again at new all-time highs, which is weird. Uh, that should not be happening during a negative year. So uh, this is uh, not going the way I uh, wish to see it. But uh, world stock indexes like the MSCI World Index uh, is actually not at a new time all-time high, and it's still going sideways after reaching a new uh, an all-time high in January. So um, I think it is still um, more than 50% chance we will see the stock markets um, uh, turn uh, end this year negatively uh, because it's also mm, yeah like. You, yeah. Typically, stock markets go up parabolically, just like crypto markets, and it has been the case uh, since uh, uh, last year included. But this year it has been going sideways, so it could be just a temporary break, uh, and then we go more parabolically. But um, it is possible. It is possible. Um, but but I just think the odds are in favor of a negative year for the stock markets, and, and that's a new case uh, uh, for crypto that has always experienced a, a global bull market, and suddenly there is a negative year uh, in the global uh, stock markets. I think that may cause just a stronger correction in uh, in the crypto markets. Um, 
But I just think it's fair to say uh, as a conclusion that there is um, no rush here, absolutely, to buy crypto. Even if we saw the bottom, then a double bottom is likely. Um, no, sorry, uh, that's not true. Um, even if we saw the but bottom, uh, it is likely that we will get a very slow year. Um, uh, uh, that's always the case after you saw strong uh, correction. Uh, so, um, uh, exceptions are uh, possible, and that's why I have a small crypto exposure still. Um, but, uh, but, 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 just the odds are in favor of uh, well, um, that the time uh, is uh, like that. That those that have fiat are uh, are getting more and more. Um, um, power in this market and, um, and, and and giving it away uh, I don't think is a wise move at this point in time thanks for watching guys uh, check the interview I did with uh, dope forever uh, a great interview a long one I share a lot of things I haven't shared before uh, uh, so you can find it on my youtube channel I have um, a playlist of uh, appearances on other channels uh, and also did uh, an interview um, uh, just before that with uh, 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 Tai Zen, uh, also a very good interview. Uh, please check them out if you haven't uh, seen them yet. Uh, and then I will also uh, post the link downstairs uh, in the description of uh, a website I found uh, thanks to a viewer uh, that shows um, uh, a fair valuation of different coins uh, according to their formula. Uh, but I think that's interesting. Um, yeah, but I shared that already. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I uh, wish you all a great day. Bye.